Hello, and welcome to The Combobulator by DataMind Audio. Here's a quick tutorial on how to get started using this plugin. Now I've put the combobulator for this example onto a group in Ableton Live, which has some drums, bass, and synthesizer track in it. Very simple. I'm going to play a little bit. Now let's turn that dry wet knob up. On the left side of the screen, we see the different models that we've downloaded. Your combobulator should come with at least two models to get you started. Then you'll have other models that you download from our model marketplace also appear here. On the left here, we have the input section. Now the combobulator is using neural networks to resynthesize the sound of the input signal. So that means that if you change the input signal, it will change how the combobulator interprets that sound. So we have gain here. This is the pre-gain for the input. And you can hear that turning this down doesn't just change the volume. It actually really changes the timbre. Right here, we have the attack and sustain. This is a transient shaper that's applied to the input signal. This allows you to emphasize or de-emphasize the transients of the input signal coming in. So if you'd like the combobulator to really focus on the drums, you might turn down the sustain. And all the other parts, the melodics and the textures, you might uh, soften the attack a little bit. And here we have a three-band equalizer. Anyone that's used a three-band equalizer will recognize this. We have high, mids, and lows. And this is just a way to emphasize or de-emphasize parts of the input signal's spectra. And just like gain changes the timbre of the output signal, so does high, mid, and low. At the center of the screen, we have the heart of the combobulator. Two parameters, scale and offset, essentially controls how the neural network thinks. When you push scale up, it will think far beyond what you're sending into it. So it'll draw timbres from a lot of different parts of the neural network. You'll get a much more broad range of timbres when you push scale up. When you bring scale down, you're going to use less space inside the neural network to interpret your signal until when you bring it to the bottom, you might lose the rhythm and get a very uniform timbre. I'll show you what I mean. So scale all the way down kind of freezes where you are inside the neural network. It's not pulling in different timbres for kick and snare and all the other things that you might be sending into it. Offset essentially changes where in the neural network you are getting your timbres from. So the further that you shift it from the center, the further from the original timbre you'll get. And along the edges, it'll start getting really, really wild. You'll also notice that both of these knobs have four lines attached. Those four lines represent the first four latents. So when you start moving around these knobs, think of these knobs as macro knobs, which are shifting all of the latents in the latent space from one part of the neural network to another. Over on the right, we have the output section. Dry wet is pretty self-explanatory, and so is gain. It should be also noted that the combobulator also has a built-in limiter. So if you feel that the sound is a little compressed, you can always back up on the gain a little bit. The width knob is a lot like the offset knob, except it applies an offset to the left and the right channel inversely. So when you turn up or down the width, what that does is it slightly changes between your left and right channel where in the neural network the timbre is being summoned from. On the right here, we have the modulation section. Now, this is where a lot of the magic happens. We have several kinds of modulators, the LFO, an envelope follower, and a MIDI input module right here. Let's start with an LFO. 
to bind a modulator to any of these parameters, we grab the cord right here and we simply drag it. So I'm gonna put this on the offset and you're gonna see the LFO instantly start affecting it. And I bring that down. And let's hear how this sounds. So you can hear right away that this is really radically changing the timbre. Uh, and the cool thing about using an LFO is that it can do this rhythmically. We can turn on beat sync and we can turn that up. But one thing I want to point out is that notice that all of these different lines are moving at the same time. Remember I said that this knob is like a macro. Well, if you wanted to manipulate the latency individually with the LFO, we have this parameter stagger. And when we turn this up, you can see that this causes a rippling effect. You can see the latents start to get separated. And the more that the latents separate, the more that it changes the timbre and the output. Stagger is a really cool way to explore the latent space in the model because you're accessing uh, combinations of latents that you might not be able to discover otherwise. You can also apply stagger to scale as well. But this time, let's also try the envelope follower. As you can see, the envelope follower is converting the input signal into a control signal. So we're going to take this and put it on scale right here. can see that the sound can be scaled negatively or positively. We also have common parameters like offset and we have attack and release. With our MIDI input modulator, we can send MIDI into the combobulator as a sidechain channel. So if you'd like to further rhythmicize this and we can send MIDI in here and change any of these parameters. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Remember, the combobulator, while it functions as an audio effect, it's meant to be played like an instrument. Each of these models contain a whole universe of different possible timbres it can make. And using these modulators, you can explore those universes and you can do it in a rhythmic way to make it as musical as possible. This is only a beta, so in the coming weeks and months, we're gonna be adding more and more features. Uh, so make sure that you download updates as soon as they come out because each one is going to get more and more exciting and unlock more secrets of neural audio. Thank you so much. This is The Combobulator by Datamind Audio.